Hello, uh, welcome to another YK software tutorial. Uh, let me start this tutorial by just showing you what we'll create today. So, as, I, as you can see, I got uh, my iPhone simulator open and uh, we've created this program which has a username label and a text field next to it, a password and text field. Uh, login status uh, label and a uh, login button and when I click the text field you see the keyboard pops up and we can enter text and okay and if I hit the background the keyboard uh, disappears same for the password I click stuff hit the background and then I can click the login will check if the username or password uh, are correct so I press the login and the login failed and it compares the username and password from an XML file so if I click a random username or password it won't log in but if I go and click in the XML, XML file I set the password to be 27 to February uh, 85 and the password to be fish so now let's try to log in and we got a login successful so basically we're gonna create today a basic username or password screen which is are not encrypted but read the data from an XML file and compare the username and password we enter to username and password that is written in the XML file uh, that, that, that I've created. So in this tutorial we'll cover up these subjects. We're gonna learn about a, a bit about interface, interface builder and create uh, text fields and learn about them, about buttons and labels, about adding events to those control and uh, for the coding part we will learn about parsing XML file and comparing the results uh, with our text from the text field. So uh, we got the full source files of this tutorial at my blog you'll see the URL at your screen and it's included uh, in the blog you can get the written instruction the full written instructions and also you can uh, post comments and problems you have and I will try to answer them uh, so after all said and done let's begin the tutorial okay so we'll start by launching Xcode so we click launch Xcode and we're gonna choose file new project so in Xcode click file new project and uh, in here uh, we'll choose the view based application the view based application uh, Xcode creates all the regular stuff that Xcode creates for project but uh, it also includes in the view based application it includes a uh, view nib and a H and M file for the view and uh, also it uh, adds code that when our program launches it will launch our view screen so let's choose a view based application we choose and we will name our project XML login and click save and let's do a bit of review on the classes that we have here so let's open up the classes you can see we have the api delegate header and m which is created in uh, almost all the projects but what isn't created in all the project is the view control h and view control dot m uh, which are the classes that are associated with uh, if you can see in the resources we have a uh, login view control dot nib this is the, uh, the interface builder file for the view control and the, the classes that are associated to this nib file are the login view control 
n dot h and m so the difference in the view based application that this file this file and this file are added to our project okay so the first step of our tutorial will be to design our uh, our GUI so we're gonna launch interface builder by clicking twice on the login view control nib file so click here twice and now the interface builder is supposed to launch so here it goes so as you can see we got a basic view, an uh, empty view so we're gonna wanna add controls that our, progr our program needs to the to this view. So uh, click the tools and we'll choose a library. In the library, let's start with the uh, with the labels. So I uh, go to the search in the library and search for label. And I'm gonna drag a UI label. Put it in the top left corner click twice let's call that username click enter uh, drag another UI label let's call this one password click enter let's drag another one and, and we'll call it sorry I'll call it login status. Login status. Okay, now let's add our text fields. So we're gonna search the library for text fields. Um, we're gonna drag UI text field. Make sure you drag the UI text field and not the UI text view. Uh, the field is more of a single line while the view is more of a multi-line uh, control so we're gonna drag the UA text field and align it with the username and we're gonna drag another one which we will align with the password okay so we got our two text fields and now we're missing a button so we'll go to the library and search for button and drag a UI button here which we will name uh, login okay so basically our uh, GUI is pretty much ready as you can see it pretty much looks like the final program so we're gonna file save that and let's go and add some code 